Welcome to my messy garage slash workshop. I started woodworking just a few weeks ago and my first priority was to start building right away so I haven't spent much time organizing stuff. I do intend to clean this up and turn it into an efficient workspace. Stay tuned for videos on how I will accomplish that. In this video, I'll show you how I built this storage cabinet for my mom's walk-in closet. This was a very simple and fast project. This is how the closet looked before, just one shelf and a hanging rod, which mom couldn't even reach. She just wanted some shelves that she could easily access and organize her frequently used clothes. I decided to leave the existing shelf and hanger rod, so I worked with what's available here on the right side of the closet. For every project, I first design what I'm about to build using SketchUp, which helps me tweak components and visualize before starting to build. I can also generate an easy to use cut list to help shop for materials and make my cuts. I based all my cut sizes primarily on the equipment I have. I basically used this table saw with a 32 inch grip capacity and this 12 inch sliding miter saw for all my cutting. The cabinet dimensions are 68 and a quarter inches high, 18 inches deep, and 27 inches wide. I first started by cutting boards to rough size using the miter saw. Since the board was wider than 12 inches, I cut on one side, then flipped the cross at the full width. I then cut the boards to exact lengths and widths using the table saw. I used pocket holes for all the joints. By the way, I recently upgraded my pocket hole jig to this Craig K5 model, which makes setting up and drilling pocket holes exponentially faster. Links to all the tools I use are below. First, I assembled the cabinet frame using pocket hole screws. I planned the locations of all pocket holes to be on hidden sides so I didn't have to spend time plugging those holes. I used a Craig shelf pin jig to drill nicely spaced holes so that shelves can be installed at any height throughout the cabinet. Then I attached bottom boards to make a three and a half inch three-sided pedestal. I added this screw strip on the top for securing the cabinet to wall studs in the closet. That's for safety from tipping over. I attached back panels using a brad nailer. I finished all the front edges with iron-on wood veneer edge banding. I sanded down the excess edge banding with a palm sander and a 150 grit paper. I also did a quick sanding of all surfaces with 220 grit to prepare for priming and painting. I sprayed a water-based primer first. I then sprayed just one coat of semi-gloss white paint to finish the cabinet. Here is the finished cabinet. Here it is inside the closet, secured to wall studs, and here is a shot after my mom organized it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button below and please consider subscribing to my channel.